winning. Oh! <laughs> That's Celsius. We don't know what Celsius is. We're not in Canada. You escaped from prison. <laughs> I was like, somebody trying to escape from prison. Okay, punch. This is me. <laughs> okay, y'all. My friends over at Ariat International who are going to give not one, but two of y'all a hundred dollar gift card. There's no strings attached here. All you have to do is Okay, in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, in the kitchen with Austin and me. Austin and I with us. Us. And also, we're twinning. We're twinning. What's the saying? Do you know? Hold on. Okay, not that same. Oh, uh, About twinning. They don't make them like they used to. No, not that either. Twinning. Oh! <laughs> What's the twinning saying? This is already going really good. Twinning is... Oh, winning. Winning. <laughs> but you're right. The shirts do say old iron. And they don't make them like they used to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we have decided <laughs> since we are in a... Catastrophe. Catastrophe. <laughs> it feels that way. We are in a bread shortage. Crisis. And milk shortage. <laughs> and milk shortage. No, well, we've got milk. We've well, got yeah. plenty of milk. Anyway, can't find any bread in the stores. So, one thing that I've never done is make homemade bread. I make biscuits where I try to make biscuits. You try. Sometimes they're really good. They're always really good. They're always really good. She's my biggest supporter. Um, they're not always really good, but some, most of the time. And I make pizza dough, which I'm pretty sure is very similar to bread. Well, I mean, it is bread, but it's just not a whole loaf of bread. So anyway, I'm it's going terrible. to, I'm just Googled a recipe for bread and, um, we're going to see how that goes. We're going to take you along for the ride. Yeah. You ready to do this? At least it's going to be a soft ride. Huh? At least it's going to be a soft ride because it's bread. A soft ride along for the soft ride. Okay. Yeah. All right. You didn't get that right away, but... Whatever. I didn't get it right away. I don't get a lot of things right away. <laughs> right over my head. Okay, here we go. Oh, you have to turn it on. Oh, it is on. Just, let's see. We need 110 degree water. That's Celsius. We don't know what Celsius is. We're not in Canada. Okay. Eight. Oh, see, it's getting too hot. Come back down, Jack. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, this is hard. We don't want it too hot, because I know if it's too hot, then it kills the yeast. I'm learning things by reading the interwebs. We're just gonna put it in here, and then we're gonna wait until it gets to 110. We'll let it dry down, and then we'll do it. Two. Yeah, we need two thirds cup of sugar, so go ahead and put that in. It needs to be full. Okay. And some people said maybe it makes really sweet bread. That might be too much. Maybe we'll just do one. Not. Um, one and a half. Okay, one and a half. That's fine. Compromise. All right. The water's dropping down. It was 118. Now it's 113. We need it around 110. Okay. That's good. So when the water gets down few more degrees. We're going to pour it in there. We're going to stir that up. We're going to put in two packets of yeast, which is equal to two, one and a half tablespoons. Isn't that what I said? Yeah, I think so. All right. Okay, we're putting our water in. Oh, is that satisfying? What is satisfying? <laughs> Sounds like, you know what? <laughs> All right, stir that up a little bit. Like this? Right there. Mm-hmm. It's a little baby whisk. Evidently, I didn't say whisk in the right, in the last video when I was supposed to. I don't know what I said, but I got called out for that. Okay, now we need to put in the yeast. All right, stir that up a little bit. Oh, it's all so sad. It looks like chocolate milk. Hmm. Kind of, but it smells like bread. Like old chocolate milk, maybe. Chocolate milk that you leave in your room for three days. 
Yeah, that happens. All right. We'll let that sit and it's going to proof. I think that's the word. It's going to get bubbly. Yeah. We'll wait for that to happen and then we'll start it's mixing. Done. <laughs> no, it's not done yet. Yeah, it's in like two bubbles. Okay, another thing. Evidently, this recipe that I'm using, I just pulled it off of all recipes. It's Amish white bread. Um, calls for bread flour. I didn't read that part. I have all-purpose, pingly wiggly, all-purpose flour. So, let's hope that works. I think it will. It's, they're both flour. Right, flour. It's flour. Flour is flour. I mean, as long as it's not self-rising. It's not self-rising. Because the yeast is going to make it rise. We hope. Oh, That's yeah. That's the plan. If it was self-rising flour, then it would be probably... Right. <laughs> that time. It might be coming out the windows. <laughs> bus blowing the roof off. Like a cartoon. It still might be like a cartoon. Like Carol Burnett. Like Carol Burnett? Yeah. yeah like, like. <laughs> or Lucy. Maybe yeah. more like I love Lucy. Or both of them together. <laughs> That's us. Lucy and Carol together. Yeah. Could be. <laughs> I think we're just going to do this. Um, it said to put a little bit of salt. Like one and a half teaspoons. Yes. I don't know what that is. What'd you say it much. is? Anyway, I don't know. All right, pour that oil in. One, uh, a quarter cup of oil. We're using canola. Okay. <laughs> All right, what we're going to do, I think we're going to put it in the mixer stand. Oh, don't want that. All right, excuse me. We're, get, we're getting a little, we're getting a little claustrophobic around here. Okay. I'm gonna use the bread thing. Hook. Hook. Alright, we're just gonna stir that around a second and then we're gonna start putting in one cup of flour at a time. Alright, we're gonna do one cup at a time up to six. minutes but I'm gonna take it down the notch. In there, buddy. Oh wow. This could be bad y'all. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. We're <laughs> we're gonna stop it there. It's been the about five out. we're gonna let the person come out. <laughs> Look it came off of there clean though. Alright and then what we're supposed to do is put like a little bit of olive oil just to coat. Something like that. Wait, hold this for me. Mommy needs hands. Okay. Um Supposed to just turn the man, it's so heavy. <laughs> Is that right? It's I'm gonna turn it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing what I think I've seen done on TV. I think maybe I don't even watch TV, <laughs> don't even have the food network. Okay, we're just gonna do that. It's coated. There's that. I did read that you could turn the oven on for like 20 seconds, start counting off, and then um. And then cut it right back off. <laughs> and maybe that would be the right temperature to help um, to keep it. Can you show my face? To keep it warm enough but not too warm so it will actually rise. So then we're going to let it sit in there for an hour. And we're going to let it sit in the oven for an 25. hour. 25. Huh? 25 seconds. Oh, thank you. You, said, you, you just <laughs> forgot in 25 yeah. seconds? I forget a lot. All right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's just lukewarm. We're just going to let it sit in there for an hour. It's supposed to double in size. And then we will take it out and punch it down, which will be fun. Oh. Right. And we'll let it rise for another 30 minutes in two separate pans. Got to find those. And then we'll cook it. And remains to be seen what we'll have but hopefully it's edible bread <laughs> okay okay it's about time to take out the dough it definitely has doubled yay we're gonna punch it down and knead it but we needed two well greased um what are these called uh bread pans yeah so i decided to use lard which evidently is manteca or something in spanish anyway lard and I used my fingers and I greased them really good. And hopefully, hopefully that would be considered well old. I feel like it would. I feel like it is. All right. Okay, we're gonna take this out. <gasps> Got big, didn't it? All right. 
Oh. Yeah, I think we need to wash our hands good first. Okay, punch. Easy. Oh, didn't take much. Easy. <laughs> All right, right, it's punch. Now, <laughs> well, that's it. That's that. Now it needs to be kneaded. We're going to take it out. Yeah, it just got already wounded. washed. No, because it got <laughs> wounded. <laughs> yeah, it's wounded and now it needs to be kneaded. So just, um, I don't really know how to knead bread, but I think it's something like this. Just kind of roll it over itself. Okay. Just working the dough. That's what we're going to, what we're going to say. So just really get in there and fold it. And you can use both hands. There you go. Push. It's like really, it's, it's really thick, isn't it? Got to do that for several minutes. <laughs> okay, now we're going to try to divide it in two. Somehow, it'll break apart. <laughs> It's like tough. It I don't is. Know how it works. Okay. I don't know how you make that into a loaf. It's not. It's really thin. So I'll just do this. I don't know, y'all. This is crazy. I hope it rises like it's supposed to. I can't get it to go in all the corners. I don't know what I'm doing. We're learning as we go, right? Yep. Stretch. <laughs> Stretch. Stretch it out. Push it. I don't know. This is a good stress relief. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need it to stay in the corners. It doesn't want to. Alright. We're just going with it. We're going to put it back in the oven. 30 minutes. And then, Hopefully it's going to continue to rise. Yeah. And then we're going to cook it. And hopefully it'll be bread. Not We're just putty. Bread. Yeah, not putty. We want bread, not putty. From Gr Green Acres, she always made bread and it was like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what was her name? Um, Green Acres. Uh, Ava Gabor, Zsa Gabor, one of the Gabors. But her name on there, I can't remember. Lisa. Lisa? <laughs> Alright. We'll see. Could be Lisa's bread. It could be um bread. Okay, we've risen, and now we're gonna we're gonna what are we gonna do? Bake. We're gonna bake. bake yeah. The cake. All right. Let's see how this goes. Okay, y'all. We have bread, and I just took it out. I just took it out of the pan. It came right out of the pan. Look at there. It looks like bread. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Um, I think like maybe it smells like bread. It looks like it's bread. Like... Hopefully it's going to taste like bread. It's, yeah, it's, it's hard and heavy. Yeah. Okay. We'll cut it in a little bit. I'm going to let it sit a little bit. Then we'll see what we got. We're excited, right, Bonnie? Mm, maybe. Okay, I'm impatient. There's no way I was going to be able to wait. So I cut a piece and I put butter on it because, of course... It's good, y'all. It's like really good. It's really good. Here. It's not too hot. Oh my gosh. We made bread, sissy. <laughs> Woohoo! I mean, really good bread, am I right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, y'all. I will, um, I'll put the recipe I used in the description. It was from all recipes. And I pretty much, I pretty much followed it, which is pretty much a miracle. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> it's really good. I think the only thing we did different was cut down on the sugar a little bit. It doesn't taste too sweet to me. Mm. And we didn't use bread flour. We used Piggly Wiggly all-purpose flour, the cheapest all-purpose flour that was in the store. Hey, 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 yay! Woohoo! Alrighty then. I'm calling this a good win. Uh, a good win. A good win. A good win. A good win. All wins are good. Yeah. A win is a win. <laughs>
true story, Lawrence just pulled up and I told Austin as I'm eating my second piece of bread, oh, I forgot I haven't eaten supper yet. I let the kids eat and I was waiting on him, but now I'm full on bread. <laughs> this is me. And rehydrated mud again. We got right, right under an inch last night. <laughs> But air is sunshine and warm temps coming, even up to 80. I'm not really ready for 80, but I'll take 70s in sunshine. One more day of this. There's Panda. So we're still feeding that corn. We need to grind some more. We just haven't gotten around to it. They're eating it good though. I don't know. I think it's probably a little more digestible ground as long as they're eating it though. Whoops. Ugh. Haven't missed the mud, I can tell you that. <laughs> Look at him. What a bad boy. What a big bad bull you are. <laughs> the sound is just carrying in this bottom and it, it's loud. Talking junk to the bull across the way, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Bonnie? What do you think, Lawrence? What do you think about anything? Everything? Anything? Yeah, chicken ain't nothing but a bird. Chicken ain't nothing but a bird. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We fed hay yesterday. We fed up this morning. It's rained an inch. You want to just take the rest of the day off? So I'm good. We can get it with pay off. See if we can get it with pay? Yeah. That might be a hard road to hoe. <laughs> okay, y'all, if you have made it this far in this kind of wonky video, you're the real MVP. And also the real MVP today is my friends over at Ariat International who are going to give not one, but two of y'all a $100 gift card to their website to their online store at Ariat.com. So, there's no strings attached here. All you have to do is leave a comment below under the description. If you have a hard time finding that, you just keep scrolling under the video and you'll see where you can leave a comment. Leave a comment. Tell me something you're thankful for. Yeah, that's a good idea. Tell me something you're thankful for. They just wanted to do something to give back, just a small way to give back to offer some positivity and just something fun for my viewers. And I totally appreciate it. So do that. I will pick uh, two random winners from the comments. Um, I think then what I'll do is I'll go back to your comment and tell you you won and have you send me a message through my contact form and I'll get you squared away with your online gift card for $100. So leave a comment. Thank you for being here. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for your encouragement and your support. And um, yeah, it's a hard time right now. I know that a lot of people are struggling in a lot of ways and hopefully this is just something fun we can do to give back just a little bit. So um, wishing you all well, stay safe, be well, and um, we'll see you next time. Hopefully the sun is gonna come out. It's supposed to come out soon as in today, hopefully, and it's supposed to warm way up. So I'm ready to get back outside this weekend and do some stuff. Yeah. All right. I'll catch you next time.